Glenn Campbell has uh, been down all the, been down the hall all day here at NBC working on the Midnight Special. And he was kind enough to drop by tonight with a few of his singers. Um, the record he's got out, which I guess is one of the biggest records he's ever had, called Rhinestone Cowboy. Somebody told me he's on the way to selling two million copies of one record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, he's been nominated for two Country Music Association Awards for that song and this album. And October 14th, for three weeks, he will be in Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Hilton. Would you welcome Mr. Glenn Campbell? <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming in. I know you're My pleasure. busy down the hall doing the midnight special, which takes a lot of work. And you, you came in last time for us uh, on an emergency when you were working here too. So thank you. Hey, you're welcome. That is some hit, isn't it? That I mean, two million records. Yeah, you know, it's strange enough. That's my first number one record. And this is bigger than anything. By the time you get to Phoenix, it's bigger right. than that. Uh, I thought. Well, I thought Wichita Line was number yeah. one. I thought Galveston was number one, but they weren't. They sold. They sold more records per se, but they weren't number one. Good heavens. But, but what is it, if I walk in to buy this in a store, what, what does this cost? Uh, I don't know, like five ninety eight. You saw two million of these? Cost him eight fifty. Cost you eight fifty. That is incredible. No, this the album hasn't sold that many. I hope it does. You no, know, but the record alone. But that is fabulous. Yeah, the single did. This. That is incredible. I wish I'd write us just one song. Yeah, I'd like I to write it. one song like that. I really would. You didn't write that song? No, I didn't. Larry Weiss wrote it. I heard it in an album on KNX FM. And I said, hey, I'd like to record that song. And, uh, you know, it's because I like the song. And I right. went up to Capitol and Al Corey, the, the head of promotion up there, he had, a, he had one of Larry Weiss's albums. And he said, hey, how do you like this song? And I said, yeah, that's the one I've been looking for. And, and I nobody else, nobody else uh, saw the possibilities in it, right? I guess not. That's interesting. Usually when somebody grabs a song, it... Well, I found Phoenix that way. I found it on an old Johnny Rivers album. I thought that was a new when you did it. 
No, uh, uh, Wichita Lyman, same way, and uh, Galveston. I, I played on Pat Boone's record of Phoenix, by right. the way. And Galveston, I heard a Don Ho record on it. Galveston. <laughs> Don Ho singing by the time I get to Phoenix? No, he was singing Galveston. Oh. Johnny Rivers was singing by the time I get to Phoenix. Well, that makes more sense. <laughs> I see Don Ho by the time I get to Galveston makes no sense at all. Or by the time I get to Phoenix. How are you doing on your smoking? You said you were quitting? Oh, my God. No, I didn't go to the shit clinic, John. Yeah. Uh, well, you know the joke I told you the last time about it. No, I, I haven't. I haven't done too much on it. I'm still cutting it down in the daytime, but uh, in the evening. It's hard to quit, isn't it? It is hard. Right. It is hard. Did you used to I smoke? did, though. No, I quit 10 years ago. Did you? Really? Yeah. Cold turkey? Walk up the walls up and down for several days, but I quit. You just Cold said one, turkey. You just said it one day? I said it. That's it. Period. That's good. Right. But did you, you didn't go to the Shick Center or anything? No, I didn't go to the They didn't have the Shick Center no. 10 years ago. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I was afraid. I went there and I quit shaving. <laughs> It's ridiculous. I have down to here. I still smoke, but I... You smoke? Oh, I Johnny? never... What? Smoke? Oh, what yeah, I smoke too much. How much? Well, How much I, is too much? Well, that's what I'm saying. How much is How too much? much? Right. I used to smoke three and a half packs. I don't. Oh. Three and a half packs? Oh, yeah. No, I don't do that. Oh, you went up you to that. You should smoke them one at a time. Uh, no, I smoke them. <laughs> You don't use up as many that way. Right, that's true. No, I didn't tell you the line here. Roger Miller said a line that was so funny, I thought he said, he didn't go to the Schick Center because he had an uncle that went to Schick and the hogs ate him, so he ain't going back there. <laughs> and the hogs Jay ate him? Have you ever heard that old uh, country joke? That's, that's funny. No, I didn't hear that. I, that's wild. I'm trying to put the logic together. Why, <laughs> why would they have hogs at the Schick Center? You see, there may be not be any logic there. Don't but prod me on it, John. We'll have to do some bleeping here real quick. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> If that's an old country thing, I don't want to think I want it to hear old, that. It is an old country thing. <laughs> what, else is, what else is happening? You're going to Las Vegas. Do you gamble? Oh, yeah. When are you going up there? No, no. I got broke from sucking eggs there a long time ago. <laughs> is that another old uh, yeah. country thing? Now, don't tell me you haven't heard that one. Broke from sucking eggs? You know, you know did you ever have egg-sucking dogs in uh, Nebraska? <laughs> Too. I didn't know them. Uh... No, no, don't. Only for breakfast, right? <laughs> well, you've heard of that, hadn't you, Fernando? The only at breakfast. Egg? No, you. <laughs> How would Fernando Lamas hear about an egg sucking dog? Oh, I mean, well, you got me. Yeah. No, we suck eggs there, too. Yeah. Now, on the farm, you have dogs that will rob a hen nest and get the eggs. They eat the eggs. Oh. And they call them egg sucking dogs. Oh. And all you got to do is just fill one of them full of hot pepper. Yes. And the dog gets that. He don't go back to the nest and suck any more eggs. Well, would you? Of course not. not. Uh, no. But I question. did. I, I lost my entire paycheck in Albuquerque, New Mexico at a carnival. Sucking eggs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it that for now. At a carnival? <laughs> Gambling? Yeah, gambling. Uh, right. Throwing rings or some dumb thing. Mm -hmm. and, I, and when I went to Vegas, oh, I play a little blackjack every once in a while. Yeah. Well, you, pl you play Vegas. You don't gamble, do you? No, not really. It's silly. In I fact, I, did, I finished. I did three weeks in Vegas over July. Never went into the casino. I did, uh, just finished at Harris. Right. In Lake Tahoe, and I didn't go into the casino right. because I beat them once. I showed them. No, so I won four dollars. Taught them a lesson. <laughs> well, they probably disbarred you for life. No, right. you, you could no, take them like that. I'm going back into Vegas on October 14th, and I am bringing I the I'll... Royal Scott Guard with me. You yes. mentioned that to me one day when you were, we were playing tennis at your house, and that you were going to bring in the, the bagpipers. Right, they're the bagpipers. Uh, Vegas. Oh, right, Vegas. 17 bagpipers and seven drummers. Oh, that's my and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> 17 bagpipers? Right. Now, what do they do? They play they, bagpipes. They, yeah, yeah sure. obviously, yes. Why well, else they, would they do? Uh, it's, they're in the, they're in the, the service, and uh, I hope after Vegas, yeah. maybe if we can get it right after Vegas to come back here and, and, and do your show with them. If, you know, because you can, I know you've had the Royal Air Force band on and all that. Yeah, well, we have, we haven't back. had 17 bagpipers on Oh, no. That, oh, they're phenomenal. They, they, they crank the horns the costumes up. The oh, the whole costumes, right. Uh, and bagpipers, that is that uh, excruciating that's sound, that, isn't it, that comes out of those, uh... Oh, no, it's not excruciating. It sounds like... I ask you. That's excellent. What? Right? The high note? You hear, you hear the horn players? Their ears went, hey, yeah. I'm playing Bonaparte's Retreat and you didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the band. What? What, what high note? Da, 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 da. Okay, listen. No, 
playing, I'm, I'm playing my first university this weekend. Really? Where? At the, I'm playing in Columbia, Missouri, University of Missouri. Who? Yeah. Right. You believe the way they kicked Alabama? Don't you know Barry Bryant was just running up and down the wall saying what happened? Yeah, but every team has its. Yeah, they have their off days, that's right. But yeah. I'm playing at the University of the, in Columbia, Missouri, and uh, in, uh, Sunday I'm playing the Oklahoma State Fair in Oklahoma City. Well, you are busy. Oh, yeah, I like to work. Yeah. I'm going back to, that's Doc's country, ain't it? Well, yes. Like Oklahoma. Purcell, Oklahoma. Purcell, Oklahoma. <laughs> what do you mean it's your country? You weren't born in Purcell, Oklahoma. No, but I have a little, little place down in Purcell. <laughs> there it is right now. <laughs> I think, I don't know how to tell you this, I think we've been canceled. Uh, I knew it was coming, I just didn't know... Uh... I didn't know my hand was on that. <laughs> okay, you want to set up for the Tom Snyder show? Are you leaving? I was halfway to my dressing room when I heard the applause, and I thought, <laughs> see, networks are cruel. This is the way it's all over. Oh, the the set funny. comes down, yeah. and all of a sudden, you know. You're oh, I didn't know that. My, my thumb hit the, what is that? I hit ocean, didn't it? That's right, what happens That's in wild. there. You got fog and snow. Rain, lightning, uh, gardens. They didn't have me that button there when I was. We have all those things there. Hmm? You have buttons there? Well, we have all kinds of things here. It can rain. That's if we want sense. rain, it rains. We, we got all this. Did yeah. I lie to you? How do I stop the rain? <laughs> how, how, does, how do I stop the rain? I try, oh, I say press the Okay. Okay. That is has to go. Oh, that's right. You've got to go down and uh, finish the show, right? Yeah, in fact, we start, we start just a little bit. Hey, I, thanks for coming in, really. Hey, it's my pleasure. Oh, yeah. I was going to sing another song at the panel. Did you forget about that, Freddie? Well, why can't he sing another song at the panel? <laughs> now you say the embarrassing position. Oh, come on. Freddie, you see? <laughs> see the embarrassing position you put me in, Fred? He was going to do another number, and you're trying to get rid of him. <laughs> now I'm going to do the sound of the album. You got to do a commercial real quick, Freddie? No, sir. No, okay, you... I want to sing it then. Heck with it. Oh, honey, I'm... I'm a rhinestone cowboy. I'll drink, I'll drink, I'll drink. Thank you. Do you think if I got a guitar, I could... good water for now. Yeah, that's good water. Do you think if I got a guitar and, you know, and uh, do one of them country western songs, I could hit it big? That's just possible. Oh, here it is. Here you go, I No, I didn't know you did, Donald. that. I do, I do a choir of ducks. A what? A choir of ducks. We haven't had that I on do, the I show. I do it in Ryan's Stone Seat. <clears throat> the dark told me for the light to shine it on me. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> a few boys coupling. Like a last two Like a last two We promised you superstars, and we have them live on this show. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Gosh, I love this. That's good. <laughs> uh, no, uh, this song was written by Randy Newman, and I, Randy Newman's unbelievable. You know, Lionel Newman is yes. his nephew, and he's, oh, what a great singer. Good. You look like a princess, night we met. With your hair piled up high, I will never forget. I'm drunk right now, baby, but I've got to be. I will never forget. I'm drunk right now, baby. But I've got to be oh, I never could tell you What you mean to me But I loved you The first time I saw you It's a good song <laughs> And I always will love you, Marie You're the song 
tree shrinks when the wind blows. You're a flower, you're a river, you're a rainbow. Would you stop it? <laughs> and sometimes I'm crazy, but I guess you know that I'm weak and I'm lazy. And I hurt you so And I don't listen To a word you say And when you're in trouble I turn away But I loved you I loved you the first time I saw you and I always will love you, Marie. Yes, I loved you. I loved you the first time I saw you. And I always will love you, Marie. That's pretty. That's a pretty song. What do you mean now? Thank you, man. Great. You. Thanks for coming. Thank you, John. That's one of the most pleasant guys I've known in a long time. Glenn's a nice man. And really, pleasant man. Right. We'll be right back after this brief pause 